My name is Julie and this is KS Mom Crochets and today is going to be crochet podcast number 20. Um, I have two finished objects and I have something else to show you and I have no whips. I have not started anything. I mean I have <laughs> I have plenty of whips but I have none that I'm actively working on um, right now. So um, let's just jump right in and I'll show you what I got finished. So the first thing that I got finished is the Love Gnome by Pampino Gnome. And I will pop in a picture of what this gnome looks like um, on her website, but I did him a little bit different. I actually gave him a beard. <laughs> and I gave him a gray beard. And I really like um, how this uh, gray has like an undertone of white. I think that it matches him really well. Um, I used all Chepier's Katona cotton except for one color, um, but the Chepier's Katona is, um, for the heart, I used Poppy Rose, which is number 390. I used Sky Blue, which is this right here, and that is number 510. I used Bridal White for all the white that you see, and that is number 105, and then... I used the color shell for the hands and the nose and the head and that is number 255 and then for the gray that you see on the hat and the stripes in the shirt I used Hobie Rainbow 84 in the color light gray which is number 16 and I really <laughs> I really like him um, as you could see on the picture he does have little feet um, and I made those feet, but my daughter was sitting next to me when I was putting him together and we both agreed that we liked him without his little feet. So I decided just to not put those on. And I didn't put as many hearts as what she did in the pattern. She had hearts all over the hat, all over the um, bottom. I think I said this is by Pampino Gnome on Etsy. If I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I really like how he turned out, but he reminds me of a farmer gnome <laughs> instead of a love gnome. So I feel like that his hat should have been like um, a straw hat or something like that. Maybe he needed a little pitchfork um, or a rake <laughs> or something because he looks like um, he uh, is a farmer from the nose down. <laughs> but then he has this cute little um, heart hat on top. But I really like him, and I enjoyed making him. I had a lot of fun making him. He was really easy to make. Um, I did put pipe cleaner. I don't know. You can see it just a little bit because all I had was black pipe cleaner. And I put two pipe cleaners um, bent over in the top of the hat there to um, make it poseable on the top. And then I did put cardboard in the bottom so he does sit really well. And this is my little love gnome. And I'm really happy with how he turned out. And um, I hope you all like him too. I did put little buttons on the front of his overalls there. So like I said, this is my little love gnome. And then finished object number two is my Ruana. I actually finished my Ruana. Now this is um, a pattern by Charm Grammy Crochet or Lynette, Hi Lynette. And I am so excited about this. I know that it is summertime, but I'm, I'm really happy that I'm done with this um, pattern. And uh, let's see if I can hold it up. I will pop in pictures um, here in just a second of what it looks like on me. I hate taking pictures of myself so judgment free zone if I look kind of silly. Um, but I did put pockets in it and um, I didn't make them as long as what she did. I know in her tutorial um, because this is the campfire Ruana <laughs> but in her tutorial, she said that you could fit a um, water bottle in her pocket. That's how long that she made it. But I decided just to make it long enough to um, fit my hand. 
it's a little bit um, smaller um, than my hand but with acrylic yarn it does stretch so I figured that it would be fine as I wore it so I did put a pocket on each side I did mess up on this a little bit and um, I don't think even though I followed her tutorial and it was not her fault it was my fault um, I would watch parts of it and then I would do what she said and then like whenever I got done with that part then I would go back and try to find where I was at and just keep doing that instead of like watching the tutorial straight through um, I just kept referring back to it and I missed um, I think I missed some parts of her tutorial or something because mine is a little bit different I mean it's the exact same thing it's just a little bit different so I think if I'm mis I could be mistaken but I'm thinking that around the front of it she does have like a solid part and mine is just the window rows around the um, neck and the front and then um, for some reason whenever I was making my first side I think I'm short a section I think I was supposed to have one more section on each side but it fits fine um, I also think that I should have made it a little bit longer for my height because I am um, around 5'5 five five or 5'6 five um, closer to 5'6 I think but um, I think I should have added some um, stitches to my initial chain and I didn't do that but it still works perfect for me so um, I used a six millimeter hook and I used all big twist yarn and I used the colors um, burgundy is my main color so it's the color that you see the most of and then I used the color wine and the color um, dark gray and the color medium gray in it and I just love it it's super cozy and it's going to be really really nice when the weather starts to cool off um, to wear this and I'm really excited about it so um, oh another thing that I did not do is I did not put a border on it um, she does put a border on hers but I didn't um, do that and as you can see I did weave in all of my ends I'm so proud of myself because with this much color changing you do have a lot of ends um, I did crochet over top of a, a lot of them but there was some that I had forgot to do and then I wanted to go back and um, you know take them back the other way you know just so that they wouldn't come out but I am really happy with my Ruana and I hope that you all like it too. Um, I did not think that I would get it done in time for my podcast. But I worked so hard on this last night and I finished it up and I was so proud of myself. Um, because as you all know, if you've been watching my videos, I have been working on this for at least a month. Maybe longer. Um, so I was really happy to have it done and I hope... Like I said, I hope that you all like it too. Now, I don't have any whips, but I do have one more finished object. And this is kind of a surprise. I haven't mentioned it because um, I just, I figured I would just let it be a surprise for you all. But Caitlin, if you all have watched any of my videos, you know that I have been teaching my daughter how to crochet. And she asked me, she said, I really want to make an amigurumi well she's very very new the only stitch that she knew was the double crochet um she didn't know how to start anything she don't know how to do the magic circle <clears throat> sorry she don't know how to do the magic circle or anything like that so i um i was trying to think of something that she could make that would be easy and that um when she got done it would be something that um, she could keep and be like oh I made that you know so Caitlin made a snake <laughs> and um, she said I wish we had put some wire in it so that it could be posable which I mean I guess we could still um, stick it in through the holes and she made it as long as what she wanted to 
But now I did start it off for her. Like I got her up to the amount of stitches that she needed to and then I just let her go, go, go as long as she wanted to with her single crochets. And then whenever she got to the home to make the head, I made the head for her. Um, I didn't follow a pattern. I just, I winged it and I was really proud of myself. I just knew that like the bottom of a snake's head is usually flat or flush with their body but then they have this curve that goes up so I just put a bunch of increases right here um, to where that it would stick up and I just I just winged it and I think that it turned out really cute I'm not a snake person <laughs> at all but I really like her snake um, now she used a six millimeter hook and she used premier puzzle yarn in the color tangram t-a-n-g-r-a-m and she used about a half a skein of that to make the snake. Um, and like I said, I just let her keep going until she got it the length that she wanted it. And this is the size that she wanted. And then we gave him some little safety eyes and then she decided that he needed a bow tie. So she gave him a little ribbon around his neck. And I'm just so proud of her. Um, I decided that I wasn't going to um, mention anything about her um, still crocheting because I know when I make videos I have just a little bit of pressure because I really want to finish things so that I have stuff to show and things to talk about on my videos and I didn't want her to feel that pressure so I just wanted her to work it at her own pace and then whenever she got done I knew that I would show it to you all and I know that you guys that follow me and have followed her little um, crochet journey I know that you guys will be proud of her just like I am so that is her little snake now I like I said I have not started anything else um, I worked so hard on this Ruana because I was determined to get it done um, it's been a whip for way too long and I wanted to finish it um, I'm sure that I will be starting some new things tonight. I know I have my eye on a few patterns. Um, one of them is another gnome pattern um, that I really, really want to make. I don't, I don't want to say that I'm going to make it because um, right away because I have done that before in the past and then I didn't end up starting it. But I am really wanting to make this gnome, so you never know. I might start that. And then if you all have missed any of my videos, I have kind of bombarded you all with videos this week. Um, I have put out quite a few. I did Whip Wednesday. I started my first Stitcher Library video. So if you all missed that, um, don't forget to go over there and um, vote for the pattern that you want me to do for my first Stitcher Library. I'm really, really excited about that. And I also showed um, Lucy Lamb over there because I did get her finished this week as well. And then um, I'm doing a crochet collab with um, Caroline at For the Love of Crochet and um, Cassandra over at Craftably Ever After. So make sure you go check out our collab videos and uh, see all the fun um, that we're getting into. So I do have a clip that I took yesterday and I um, know that it's going to be kind of weird to insert it but I'm going to insert that clip right here so that you all can see um, the acquisitions part. So I am recording this clip early. Today is Saturday and my podcast I will record it tomorrow on Sunday. But I wanted to um, open some Happy Mail that I got in the mail today and I just could not wait until tomorrow <laughs> to open it. So I thought that I would film it and um, show you all what all that I got. Um, some of this I have had a couple days but then there was a couple things that I just got today. Um, and I am really excited to see what's in it. So let's just, um, I'm just going to go ahead and just start showing you. And like I said, I'm just going to add this in to my podcast. So it may um, look a little funny to have this clip, but it's okay. Okay, so first of all, I got this really pretty card from Rebecca. 
at Yarn and Pajamas, and it was so sweet of her to think of me. I remember um, seeing the video where that she got these cards, and um, I just love it so much. And she wrote me such a sweet little um, note in here, and inside it says, you're clucking awesome. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. Um, but yes, so I got a pretty little card from Rebecca. So thank you, Rebecca. I love it. Let me see if I can get it back in the envelope. So, the next thing that I got is a package. It came like this, and I thought, what did I order that I forgot about? But it is actually from a viewer here on YouTube. It's Mirren. I hope I said your name right. Um, and if I didn't, please correct me. But um, I have... Um, talked to her quite a few times on Instagram. She's such a sweet lady and she asked me if she could send me something and I said yeah. Um, so I received it today and I have not opened it. Um, my daughter uh, my daughter said let me open it and I'll look and see what it is and then I just won't tell you. And I was like no. <laughs> You're not doing that. <laughs> so I'm just going to slit it here with my scissors. Sorry about the crinkle. Okay. I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out. She's got it all wrapped up in this pretty paper. And there's a little note here. And I will, um, I'll save this for after the video. wrapped up really nice oh my gosh my daughter is going to die Marin. she's going to oh my gosh oh look how pretty and it's big it's big enough I'm not gonna step over I'm so excited it's big enough to hold a blanket my new um, um, whenever I make uh, more blankets I can stick it in here and it'll hold oh, oh look at the inside with the strawberries. Oh, Marin, I'm going to have to fight my daughter over this. She is going to flip out. But she can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Oh, I just love it. It's got mushrooms, little mushroom houses, little gnomes with all different colors of hats, the flowers. Oh, I just love it so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. It's perfect. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, thank you so much, Mirren. So, I got this from Mirren, like I said, and thank you so much. And I hope and pray that I am saying your name right. Um, but I absolutely love your gift to me. Thank you so much. And I will keep this forever and I will use it all the time <laughs> oh I just love it no it's <laughs> I gotta calm myself down here okay so the next thing that I got I actually ordered these things they came in the mail um, um this I actually got the other day and I got this little zipper pouch from Ella at no catchy name um, she had this on her website and I just snapped it up as fast as I could because I seen that somebody had it in their cart and I'm sorry if I stole this from somebody but I just had to have a little um, a pouch from Ella and it actually had a tote bag that matched it so somebody out there has the matching tote bag and they're probably really mad at me <laughs> for getting this but I just love it so much. She does such a good job and it's so squishy and it just opens up and you can keep your notions in it and it'll be perfect with um, to keep my hooks or just whatever I want to put in it. It'll be perfect for that. So I did get that from Miss Ella. So that came in the mail like I said the other day and then um, Llama Mama Kayla showed this book on her uh, one of her videos and I have I remember when this book was going around YouTube um, everybody was finding them at the Dollar Tree for like a dollar and I went 
so many times to my Dollar Tree <laughs> looking for this book and I never could find it and when she um, showed this on her channel I was like you know what I've been wanting that book for a couple years now I'm just going to look and see if I can find it and I found it on eBay for like five bucks and they said that it wasn't um like it only said that it was in good quality so I wasn't expecting it to um, be as nice but the only thing that I see is like a little crease right there I don't care <laughs> I, I, I'm excited about this um I don't know uh, what I'll make out of it first but these are just quick little projects and uh, I think that they will be fun I know my daughter is wanting me to make um, the cat the cat with the party hat she's wanting to make that I really want to make the turtle and I want to make the balloon too I'm pretty sure that's the balloon that she that llama mama Kayla made was out of this book because she made a balloon um, but yeah I just got this book and like I said I didn't buy it from Amazon I don't even know how much it is on Amazon um, I'm a thrift shopper so I always um, check prices and compare until I find the cheapest one so I was really happy that I got this today and um, yeah so I do have a few more acquisitions coming in the mail um, I'm really really excited about it and I can't wait to um, show you I actually did get a part of it in the mail today but I'm going to wait until I get them all so that I can just show everything all together but I'm really excited to share that with you all and uh, yeah so I'm gonna end this little clip and send you back to me in the future <laughs> all right so I hope that you enjoyed that and here is my future self I do remember saying that yesterday um, I was just so excited about that Happy Meal that I just could not wait to um, open it and I wanted to share it with you all and I wanted my reaction to be genuine. Um, I'm really, really thrilled um, that uh, Marin thought of me and was so sweet to send me something and um, thank you again so much Marin. I love the project bag and I will use it so much. You just, you just don't even know how happy that made me. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm going to go. I'm sorry this is kind of a shorter podcast. Well, it might be a little bit longer where I inserted that clip. Um, but, um, I just, this is all I have to show you all this week. But I do have lots of projects coming up, um, for other, um, videos that I'm doing. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see what I get into next week. <laughs> so until then, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.